Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, I'll quit the Bible talk. But in Life by Use Q&A video of how to keep track of people around town, I left a comment on their YouTube video asking about the need to house the population. Well, I got an answer roughly about a month ago, and I want to talk about the boutique hotel community lot. So let's jump in. My name is Michael and welcome back to Sovereign Gaming. Today I want to explore and ask questions about the boutique hotel community lot because based on the answer that Paradox gave me on their YouTube channel, I gave it some thought and I honestly feel like it's more of a temporary solution than anything else. Before we get started, let's take a look at what a boutique hotel actually is in real life so that we know what we're comparing to. So according to Glion, which is a Swiss hospitality university, a boutique hotel is a hotel that's small with under 100 rooms, independently operated or only part of a only boutique chain, located in a trendy area, has designer decor, feels part of the place where it is located in, making it feel very local, and it usually has a restaurant or a bar. Fun little fact, I actually used to work in a boutique hotel. Well, it was part of a chain and it technically fit the bill as a boutique hotel. But I digress. Whether all of these features of what is considered the makeup for a boutique hotel in real life will make it to the Life by You game is really a whole other discussion. For example, even though restaurants and bars are in the game, maybe the boutique hotel lots will only allow us to offer rooms to guests as opposed to having a restaurant attached to the boutique hotel. I don't mean to sow any doubts, but for the purposes of having low expectations, I would almost expect a boutique hotel lot to function in-game solely as an inn more than a boutique hotel as it is defined in real life that we just discussed. So with that said, Paradox mentioned that currently the Life by You characters that will be staying at the boutique hotel will serve as the current solution to the problem of, how, of having to house any new NPCs that arrive to your town. As the current solution, I actually think that this is a very good idea, as long as it is understood that it is only a temporary solution. I really don't imagine Paradox going ham by giving us a boutique hotel that has more than 20 rooms. And since I really don't understand the true scale of the game and the world that we will have access to in early access or even to the base game, I don't know if a larger boutique hotel with more than 20 rooms is even possible and if it would look out of place in the town that we get. In all of The Sims franchises, hotels were given to us. However, they were definitely scaled down to accommodate under 20 guests, except for maybe The Sims 3's Island Paradise, where some of the hotels had a rabbit hole component to them. And even then, I don't think that more than 10 guests were able to stay, but feel free to correct me in the comments below if you've played that feature extensively with The Sims 3's Island Paradise. And if you have any funny stories from playing with hotels in The Sims, then feel free to share those as well. I'm always happy to read them and get a good laugh. Anyways, I'm bringing up the room count because I have to wonder what happens when you fill up all of the rooms with unhoused townies and NPCs. Immediately, my imagination goes to the game automatically assigning an NPC or townie to a household when the boutique hotel fills up. And this is something that I really don't think that players will enjoy because it can create households that players didn't want or intend in their town. For example, a new NPC added into the game could get forced to live with your active household until there's more room at the local boutique hotel in your town. Now, some of you might be thinking, why not just build a bigger boutique hotel? Well, I did think about that, and right now, we truly don't know what those room limits actually are. But I think that the rooming and housing demands of NPCs and townies actually creates a larger gameplay challenge with boutique hotels when we look at the long term. For example, uh, when creating larger boutique hotels, they can actually have an impact on the look and the feel of your town. And also, creating many boutique hotels, on the other hand, can also impact the look and feel of your town. And in my opinion, it isn't realistic unless your region is very touristy. After all, boutique hotels are less common than standalone chains, and I personally don't think it's that realistic to have a bunch of boutique hotels in one location that isn't touristic, for example. 
I mean, can you imagine going down street by street, running into boutique hotel after boutique hotel? Doesn't seem realistic unless, of course, the player can make that happen and tell that story. But that's just me, and I think that it can actually impact the player's gameplay experience. The reason why that I think that boutique hotels need to have quite a bit of capacity is that Rod Humble says that every NPC in Townie will be playable with their own lives. This suggests that 100% of the workforce needs to be housed, and I personally don't like shoving a bunch of townies and NPCs into a house and pretending that it's a boarding house because I view that as unrealistic storytelling for the town, but that's just how I play. How you play can be completely different, and that's totally fine too. But I also want to quickly revert back to their response to my question. I actually think that the most important part of their response to me is that they say that they are continuing to look at these solutions leading up to and beyond early access. To me, I perceive that as acknowledgement that there is a gameplay challenge when it comes to housing NPCs and townies. Because why would they mention that they were searching for a housing solution beyond the functions of the boutique hotel if it wasn't a long-term challenge that they know that players are going to have to face? And I interpret this as good news. Actually, I think that this is excellent news because they even mentioned that they are looking at solutions for early access and the base game release, meaning that it's a problem that they can see coming. For me, when it comes to anything in life really, awareness is half the battle. And when you are aware of something, you can step into your power to make a change. And for me, Paradox is clearly communicating that they are aware of a potential housing challenge to their gameplay, and that they are taking steps to address it before early access. So huge kudos goes out to them for having that conversation and being aware that there is a housing challenge that their boutique hotels can't handle on its own in the long run. And if the scale of the game is much smaller than what is being advertised, then in my opinion they would have just said that the boutique hotel would be able to handle any influx of townies and NPCs. So let's keep that in mind, that they were very careful to answer me very specifically that they were exploring other solutions as well. Speaking of these other solutions, immediately what comes to my mind would be granting the player the capability to build multi-household residential lots. You're probably immediately thinking of apartments, which would be fair, but I'm also thinking that for the early access game, more missing middle type housing would be more appropriate for early access. And so this kind of missing middle housing could come into the form of duplexes or multiplex housing. And if they release the game with full on apartments, then I would be absolutely impressed. But their workload and bandwidth may only be able to accommodate smaller scale multi-household residential lots such as duplexes or multiplexes. We'll just have to wait and see though. But let me know what you have to think about the boutique hotel as described by Paradox. Do you see how the boutique hotel is more of a band-aid to a larger challenge at hand? Do you think that we'll be able to add restaurants and bars to the boutique hotel to really give it that individual flair? How do you feel about the scale of the game as we know it so far? And what questions do you have? Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And until next time, I just want to thank you again for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then feel free to subscribe and like this video for more. But for now, Thanks again for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.